Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And today we are back with the Bell 407 Improvement Mod, as there's been quite a few uh, further modifications to the aircraft since we last flew it. And today we're going to see what it's all about and how much this aircraft has actually changed. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. All right, so taking a look at the improvement mod and what it brings to the table here, uh, you can see that we uh, updated yesterday, or day before, I guess. Yeah, let's go into our change logs, and you guys can see the last couple here. Uh, 0 0.06 wasn't listed down here, but uh, if you can see here, flight model, 50% uh, restored or refactored, excuse me. Uh, drags, lifts, and all things change in this mod, so that's actually pretty awesome. First pass at remodeling the engine, um, and then uh, just change the save file type. But you can see all the change log information up here that actually brings everything uh, of the mod to light, if you will. Sorry, guys, I'm sort of brain farting here. I'm not quite sure why. So let's go ahead and get in. Let's see, we should have a good engine start by now that browser and let's go for a flight set the cameras up a little bit better here there we go and there we go all right so we're just going to start with a little bit of lifting again you can see the nice yellow lighting instead of that horrible green that was there before oh and big difference already in the way that it is performing it is a much smoother, much more natural feeling lift than what it had before. I just took her out. Let's see if we can just get into a nice, easy hover here. Clearly, I am struggling with this at the moment. But much more natural feeling. Oh, yeah. And hopefully you guys can see the movements on the stick, on the cyclic, oop, dropping. And on the anti-torque pedals, nice small movements like you would expect to do inside of a helicopter. Still not hitting that hover for crap, but you guys are catching the gist. It is much, much smoother performing. This is wonderful. It's not near as jerky and out of control as it was before. This is fantastic. This is feeling very nice. Much more realistic. The aircraft feels a bit more heavy uh, than what we were experiencing before. It doesn't feel like this spring-loaded uh, top toy that's sitting on the ground here waiting to just explode up into the air here. Now we've actually got some, some decent control here which is certainly making things a bit more understandable. I'm trying to keep it real nice and light and smooth for a minute, just sort of seeing its overall behavior. Still maintaining a little bit of left anti-torque, still having to very lightly jostle the uh, cyclic around to get what I'm looking for. Still hunting that, that hover. And if you guys watched my last video, we were able to get into a hover very, very easily. Very easily. Like, almost too easy. Actually, there's no almost about it. It was too easy. And we're still sinking? Come on. Just about there. Let's 
Wow. Major difference from the last time we flew it. Significantly different. Let's get some forward momentum going. Let's go just take a quick cruise around the island here. We're out at Princess Juliana. Out in the Caribbean. You guys know how much I love that. Again, having to maintain that uh, anti-torque. These flight characteristics are significantly different. What are you mad about? Oh, I think we overspeed, oversped the engine there a little bit. And he did say that if there were bugs, you know, so have to sort of work our way through it. There's the engine overspeed warning again. So that's probably part of the development, part of the changes to the engine. But the overall flying of the helicopter is so much better. It's actually flying like a freaking helicopter now. Huge improvement to this thing, guys. Huge improvement. This thing is fantastic. And this is like one of those iconic helicopters, you know? You always, you always see some sort of rendition of this helicopter. So this is a really, really well done, very welcome addition to the simulator. This developer, I mean, he started on this right away. I think it was like within two days of the Bell 407 coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator, he had the first rendition of the mod out. So this is extremely nice. Notice that I'm much quieter than I was in the last video for those of you who watched it. Um, it's requiring more to fly it. The RPM warning, I hope, is something that needs to be adjusted because I don't feel like I should be in the high RPM range. Oop, 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 oop. That was my fault. I had to scratch my eye. So the constant RPM warning is a little frustrating. Especially we're only, given that fact, we're only doing 90 knots. I don't feel like the RPMs are all that high. Pull the torque back a little bit. But this is great, guys. Holy crap. Like I said, that's why I'm so quiet. Like, I'm actually having to fly the helicopter. Where in the previous renditions, you really didn't... Didn't have to. I mean, it just it didn't fly like a helicopter before. This is super nice. Super nice. Well done. This is such a great mod. Overly thrilled with this one. And I love this helicopter. I've always loved this helicopter. And what's nice is you don't have all of the same autopilot functionalities and things like that that you see with like the Airbus 135 and 145. And don't get me wrong, they are amazing helicopters. Like, there's no ends if or buts about it. High performance group just shattered it with those two. Um, but I, I guess my thing with the uh, the H145 is, you know, they're so advanced. You know, they have all of the uh, avionics suites that uh, assist in the, in the piloting and, you know, the autopilots, and the SAS controls and, and things like that, which, you know, are true to life to the helicopter. Don't get me wrong. It's just I like the ones that are a bit more challenging. You require a bit more pilot input to learn how to fly. 
And I think that's why I was really looking forward to these helicopters when Sim Update 11 announced, or when the 40th anniversary was announced. It's because these were going to bring some of that aspect to the Sim. You know, and I was really looking forward to that. And then, so this aircraft was such a huge disappointment when it first released because it just flew like garbage. Uh, just it was it was so awkward and it, it just didn't feel like a helicopter at all. And uh, I love flying out here, I really do. And now we've really got that nailed down. So let's uh, let's bring her back in for a landing. Let's see what that's all about here. So I think we're gonna park over by the terminal this time. Start shedding some collective off here. Start pulling some speed off. I think we have a helipad over here somewhere. I think it's over there on the far end. Is it? Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Huh, I thought we had one like right there. Maybe not. I don't know what I'm thinking of now. That's okay. We'll just make one. Alright, so let's... Start pulling some more off here. Bleeding that airspeed out. Start trimming that nose high a little bit. There we go. I think we're going to set it down right there where the gray meets the darker asphalt there. Oh, maybe not. That's a taxiway. <laughs> Probably shouldn't land there. How about over there? We'll go over there. Right inside that yellow circle there. That's where we're gonna go. See if we can maintain a nice, easy descent here. Watch that forward speed. Looks like there's some grass or something in there, but we're gonna land there anyway. See here. Ooh. All right, not too bad. So that, guys, is the Bell 407 Improvement Mod. I highly recommend you guys check this one out if you're into the rotors like I am. It has made a night and day difference with this particular helicopter and actually turned it into something that is definitely worth flying. As always, guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and ring that bell for notification of future content. And stay safe and healthy. I'll see you in the next one.